Welcome back, folks, The Let's Play Portal 2, and we last we left off in our effort to find GLaDOS, who is still a potato, I might add, by making our way through an ancient facility from the 50s that was here before Aperture Laboratories. What became Aperture Laboratories was once Aperture Science Innovators. Salt, Asbestos, Curtain. No mention of science there, it is in the name, but it's not in what they specialise in. Which is making me a little bit concerned, because I'm going to have to go through some of their tests. We've heard about some of the other tests that Aperture Science Innovators did, and they don't quite fill me with confidence. The voice of the person who runs this facility doesn't fill me with confidence either. Cave Johnson is somebody who is certainly passionate about what he does, but... I'm not quite sure he realises just how deadly all the tests that he set up are. We've also heard the voice of somebody else whose name we recognise from the turret that we rescued from the conveyor belt earlier, Caroline. Maybe we'll hear about both Cave Johnson and Caroline as we move forward into this first test and read this handy poster. Remember, this test is unsolvable without an Aperture Science Portable Quantum Tunneling Device. If you have not received one, please find a test associate before participating in any Shaft 09 enrichment activities. Well, it seems like the technology was a lot bulkier back in the day. It's not quite a turret, but it is an absolutely massive backpack which you needed a harness for. And there was a, uh, handy tube here for the portal. Good thing it's a lot smaller. Let's go through. Repulsion gel was Aperture's first attempt to create a dietetic pudding substitute? It's true! The gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass insulation that causes subsequently ingested food items to bounce off the lining of a dieter's distended stomach and out of his or her mouth. For various reasons, this product was pulled from shelves. Gee, I wonder why. Maybe the deadly thing. Did you know? Aperture Science Fact Placard, number 00045-01R, Repulsion Gel. So we're just meant to move forward, are we? This is going to do one of three things. It's either going to repel us, it's going to make us explode, or we're going to turn into a giant monster. Here we go! Ooh, it's bouncy, okay. Interesting. So we want to get up to there. And that's pretty easy, considering that we can just use this uh, portal gun. And press this very crude-looking button. Marvelous. Ah. Not so marvelous, however, is that. We're going to have to uh, get something here to... Uh... Ooh, there is something up there, isn't there? Caution. Box. Ah, we're gonna have to get to uh, that there to get a box. So if we jump, ha ha! Let's get that box. It's a much plainer box than the boxes I'm used to, but it will serve the purpose well. And bounce. Also, it has a uh, symbol on it, maybe saying "put it this side down." And it's literally, uh, stapled together with staples. I like it. Alright, that's gonna open this up, and... Away we go! Well, just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Okay, that confirms that Cave Johnson really doesn't know much about the science part of this. I mean, that makes sense, considering he has a history of selling curtains. Let's move forward. Next test chamber this way. Hmm. Gonna be a bit of a problem getting there. Fortunately, we can just do that and circumvent the whole falling into oblivion thing. Now, that puts us here. There's a thing on the wall there. Maybe that's where we were actually meant to put uh, a portal. Either way, ooh, back area. Anything here? Nothing apart from some pretty pristine typewriters. We want to get to this uh, next test, though. I'm 
believe that is over here. And down. For this next test, we put nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Good thing we didn't sit down. Okay, we have entered. Ooh. We're going to have to put a portal there, that's for sure. Now, let us, uh... Bounce. 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 We're not getting any higher. At all. There's a button there. Ooh, there's also that there, too. Okay, we are going to want to get over to here very slowly. And we have a portal there that we can put down. And this. We'll just wait. Perspective is a truly funny thing, isn't it? And down we go. We want this box. We have the box. And now we want to get over to there. And we can do that easily enough using this gel. Really seems like we're dealing with the remnants of the gel that was smeared here by a uh, another test subject. That's fine. It's uh, gel enough for our needs. So now we want to get this over to here. And that has... Ah! Made that appear. Okay. That's good. Also not good because uh Oh no no, that is that is fine. If we do this. And then this we should be able to bounce up to there. Woohoo! Marvelous. What does this do? It does something oh. Okay, it does that. What are we going to do with these? Can we bounce sideways? Oh, we can! Look at us! We are wall running like a boss. Excellent! We need this box. Oh. With there being blue gel, I'm starting to wonder if there will be orange gel as well. Got this, which means we can now bounce to here. Put this here, and fall a long way away over to the exit. Like so. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. Good to know. Could you have informed me of that earlier? Well, actually, you can't because you're recording, and uh, you're likely very, very, very long dead. Either way, we're done here. Let us head further up. How much further up? I don't know. Far enough up that we need to use a loading screen. Marvelous. Now, let's keep going. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Doesn't make a happy face for me. Asbestos is bad news. It's very bad news. Okay, we want to get over to there. And we have not been given a handy dandy way to get over to there. Can't make a portal here. 
can, however, precariously balance across what is left of this support. Yep, that's precarious, all right. Caution, do not lean on railing. Well, I'm doing it. What are you gonna do to stop me? The answer is nothing. Can we, nope, can't do anything there. We have that there. Exit all the way up there. Okay. Get the feeling we're going to have to do that. That no, not that. Okay, can't do anything there. Over here, maybe? There? Don't think it's actually working, unless we can zoom. No, that's not gonna reach. That's not gonna reach at all. Hmm. There's this bit of wall. That's not really gonna help me though, is it? Unless it allows me to... Nope. Doesn't really allow me to do very much here at all. I mean, we can fall through. Still, doesn't achieve that much. There's more of that gel over there. Ooh. Hello? Would have missed that had I not have uh, looked there. Okay. That's good. We can use that to get to here. And that's exactly what we'll do. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Hmm. You're not a very nice person, are you? Either way, we have a button. Ah! Oh. Think we might have... Okay, that's... Oh, we, we, we've put gel everywhere. Okay. So if we were to, for instance, uh... Oh, well, we're covered in the, uh, the goo. Okay. Where else can we aim this? Well, we could aim this at all different kinds of places, couldn't we? As long as we do not get rid of the blue portal. We could put one there. Yeah, that's going to do nothing. We could put one there. That's also going to do nothing. Hmm. Just curious, what, where else can we put it? Where else can we put it? We could put it here. Okay, that allows us to bounce over to there, maybe. Not by much, though. Put some here. Put some here. We really want to get over to there, though. Put some here. Yeah, I get the feeling that none of these portals are actually getting us anywhere, though. And yeah, they're probably not. I want to get up to there again. So, over to there. From here. And back to here. Hmm. We want to get over... Well, we actually just want to get over to here, don't we? So, really... All that stuff I did there was completely pointless. We actually want to just do this. And smear some gel over here. Like that. And bounce. And bounce. Then we want to... Ooh, okay. We want to get over to there. So if I do that... That's not going to get us over to... Ooh, but we could get over to there, though. We could get over to there. Want to get over to there, though? Hmm, not, not really is the answer. Well, we do, actually. We want to get a uh, portal over to there, don't we? So we want to uh, go the long way around over to there. So really, we want that over here. And over here as well? Hmm. 
if I do that, I have a thought. It's a silly thought, but it could do something. So if we were to put this portal here, then do this, then move this portal, ooh, we get to jump really high there. Okay. That's what I want to do. I want to jump really high here. So, put this, actually, if I put that there, then move this one, and there. Well, I've got that going forever. There we go. Put that there for now. Actually, sort of need uh, some a little bit over here. There we go. Eventually, this whole floor will be covered in goo. It'll take a while, but we'll do it. Seems like they have a limitless supply of the stuff. That's handy. That is handy. I feel like we do want to go that way, though. We really do. So, over here, like that. Also, really want to get rid of uh, that there, so we'll just do that. And then, forget to change that one. Alright, Kiko. We know what we need to do now. Let's do it. And, fall. Okay, that's going to bring us over to here. Then we want to move this one. And jump a lot. We need to jump a little higher. Jump a little bit higher. Hmm. Move the blue portal. That's gonna make us jump. We just jump over to here. Like that. Okay. Now we could actually get some of the goo over to here. Like that. It's going to get us a lot of jumping. So if we jump from, say, here and up to here, okay, that's going to give us the momentum we need to get over to here. And then we can this portal and get all of this over to there. Okay, then all we need to do is... We're just uh, splattering that everywhere. We just need to do this and get over there ourselves. Hoo hoo! Hoo hoo! Just a heads up that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. Maybe you shouldn't have told us about it then. Maybe you shouldn't have. Either way, we're done with that test. Now let us move forward. And by forward, I of course mean up. Because ever onwards, ever upwards. The higher up we get, the more likely we are to get back to the uh, newer facility. I said, do we want to get back to the newer facility? Wheatley is there, and in charge, and probably wrecking everything. We do still want to get out of here though. Okay, we already have Bouncy Gel. And now, if you're part of Control Group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Why is it even in there, then? Ooh. Water. Okay, water is going to, I imagine, uh, mean that we can't, uh, or rather it will get rid of the, the goo. Yes, it gets rid of the goo. Okay, what can we do about the, ooh, well, what we can do is we can do that. Maybe aim it a little bit over there. I'm sure we'll be fine. Or aim it here. That'll also work. 
now what we want to do is we want to bounce. Hmm. Can't really bounce that much here, though. Hmm. So, that's also going to be a bit of an issue as well because of the uh, sheer amount of... Well, we could just do that, couldn't we? And fall like... Well, we could fall forever, uh, unless we... Uh, Unless we do that. That, that. That's not sensible. This, however, a little bit better. Unfortunately, that's not going to get us the, uh, this way momentum we need. So, just going to... Ah, that's going to be a bit of an issue, isn't it? Unless we do it that way round. Much better. We can just cover everything in this goo. Goo for days. Oh, there's also a handy dandy button. I think I know what the button's gonna do. The button might allow us to turn off the water. Okay. Oh, it's on a timer though. It's on a timer. Okay. And how much timer do we have? Not enough that I uh that I uh, did it there with my first thinking. But oh. And now we're bouncing everywhere. Don't want to bounce everywhere, me. I do, however, want to press this button and quickly go this way. Excellent. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. Remember, if a future you tries to warn you about this test, don't listen. Also, I like the fact that the uh, future us is all uh, haggard and uh, disheveled. Because time travel ruined everything. And so, folks, when we come back, time travel's going to ruin everything, everyone! Hooray! There were no hoorays about this. This is this is bad news. Also, dripping goo. We can do stuff with this dripping goo. And next time, we will. Also, that is boarded up and there's something there. A sign of some kind. Don't like the fact that that's been covered up. Hmm. Something tells me this place might be hiding something. I wonder what, though. And I wonder what made me think that. Uh, call it a hunch. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Drip. 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 Drip.